Hey guys, Dathan Nail here, and today we're going to be creating a drawing app in C Sharp. So to begin, we're going to open up Visual Studio and then create a new project. And then under project templates, we're going to search for WinForms. And usually it's the first one that comes up when you type in WinForms. So we're going to want to click on the first one, click next, and then we're going to name our drawing application simply drawing app. Then click create. And right now we're loaded into WinForms and the first thing we're going to want to do is set up our the basic layout of our drawing application. So with our form selected, we're going to head over to the right hand side, search for form border style, and switch it from sizable to none. This removes that top border since we'll be adding our own later. And then under toolbox, we're going to search for a panel and then drag it in over to our form. And then we're going to want to dock this panel to the top. And to do that, with our panel selected, we're going to go over to the right hand side, search for dock, and set the docking to top. And then we're going to change the color to something like blue, just to make it stand out a bit. Perfect. And then we're going to want to change the size of it just a tad. And then for, we're going to name this panel top panel. In order to do that, with it selected, you want to go, go over to the right hand side, search for name underneath the design category, and then set it equal to top panel. And then from here, we're going to go to toolbox and add another panel. This panel is going to serve as our main canvas, and we're going to set its docking to fill. Then once again in the toolbox, we're going to add another panel and then dock it to the right hand side. This panel is going to serve as our toolbox for our brush icon, our eraser icon, and later our, our color changer icon. We're going to change the background color to blue as well. Then we're going to want to change the name of this panel from panel 2 to toolbox panel. And then make sure you change the name of the canvas panel as well from panel 1 to canvas or canvas panel. And then at the top, we're going to add our own icon in the top left hand corner of the top panel. And to do that, we go to toolbox, search for picture box, drag it to the top panel, move it over to the left, resize it a little bit, and then click the little arrow at the top of the picture box. Then select choose image. And then we're going to want to select local resource and we're going to import our own local resource. And for this, we're going to want to select our own logo. So we'll just use this logo for now and then hit OK. And right now it's not sizing properly, so we're going to want to hit that little icon at the top again. Select size mode and set it equal to zoom. And then we can re even resize a little bit if we want to. Next, we're going to add a label for our application. So we're going to go over to our toolbox, select, type in label, drag it to our top panel, move it over to the left hand side and then on the right hand side underneath text we're going to do the name of our application so we're just going to do drawing application and then we're going to select the foreground color to white so it stands out a little bit more next we're going to want to add three buttons to this top panel these buttons are going to be the save button a clear button and then the X button to exit the application. So we head over to our toolbox, search for button, and then drag it on over to the top toolbar. And then for the name of the button, we're going to want to go over to the button's properties. And then under text, we'll just set it to save. Then we're going to do the same thing and add another button this button is going to be the clear button. 
And then we're going to do this once more for the exit button. And then for the button text, it's just going to simply be X. And then likewise, we're going to want to set names for each of these buttons. So we click on each of the buttons, starting with the save button. And then under the design tab, we're going to set it from button one to save button. We're going to do the same thing for clear. And X. We'll name this one exit button. And next we're going to want to add the buttons to our toolbar. So first we'll start with our brush button. So we're going to add in a picture box. Drag it to the left hand toolbar. And select whatever uh, paintbrush icon you want to use. And right now I've already prepared a paintbrush icon and an eraser icon in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to be using this. Then once you have that selected, click OK. Make sure to set the size mode to zoom. And then drag it over to the top. And this will be our first button. Then we're going to want to change the background to a darker background so that our buttons stand out a little bit more. Perfect. So we're going to add another picture box and then set it, set it to our eraser button. So we go to local resource, import, click on your eraser icon, OK. Click the arrow again and change the size mode to zoom. And now we're going to want to add a numeric up down. So type in numeric and it should be the first one to pop up. And then add it into our left hand toolbar. And this is going to be the size of our, of our uh, paintbrush. And then we're going to want to make sure we name all of these icons as well. So underneath the first one, we're going to go to design and from picture box two, we're going to set it to paintbrush icon. And then similarly for the eraser icon, we're going to set it equal to eraser icon or eraser button instead. We'll do the same thing for the paintbrush one, just so that we know that they're buttons. And then for the numeric up down, we're going to set this one's name equal to paintbrush size. And then in our toolbox, we're going to add one more picture box. And this picture box is going to serve as our color selector. So we're going to want to make it a square. And then under design and then name, we're going to want to set it equal to color box. And then for its background color, we're going to set it equal to black. And this will be its default color for our paintbrush. And for our main canvas, we're going to want to make sure the background color is set to white. So with our main canvas selected, we go to back color and set it to white. So now we're going to want to create the logic behind our drawing application. So I'll head over to the C sharp file and let's start creating our variables. So our first variable, we're going to create a public point current equals a new point. And then we're going to make another one called public point old equals new point. And this is going to be used for updating the location of our pen when we draw. And next we're going to want to create a graphics variable. We're going to call it G. So we're going to do a public graphics G. Then we're going, to, we're going to create one more graphics variable. We're going to call this one public graphics graph. And these are going to serve as our graphics variables when we draw on the canvas. Next, we're going to want to create a pen variable. And to do this, we do public pen, set the name to pen with the lowercase p, equal to new pen, 
with the color of black by default and a stroke width of five. And then lastly, we're gonna wanna make, create a new bitmap variable. So we do bitmap surface. Next, we're gonna wanna initialize some of these variables. So the first one we're gonna initialize is our G variable. So we set G equal to our canvas panel dot create graphics. Then we're gonna set the smoothing mode of G equal to system dot drawing dot drawing 2D dot smoothing mode dot anti alias. And this will just make sure that our uh, our brush smokes are smooth and not jagged. And next we're gonna set the line cap of our pen. And to do this, we just we do pen dot set line cap system dot drawing dot drawing 2D dot line cap dot round. And then we're gonna wanna initialize our surface variable. So we do surface equals new bitmap set it equal to the width and height of our canvas. So we do canvas panel dot width and canvas panel dot height. And then next we're gonna initialize our graph variable. So we do graph equals graphics dot from image. And we're gonna use our surface bitmap. And next we're gonna to wanna to set our canvas panel background image equal to our surface bitmap. So we do canvas panel dot background image equal to surface. And then we're gonna set its image layout to none. So we do canvas panel dot background image layout equal to image layout dot none. Oops, image layout dot none. And lastly, we're gonna wanna set our pen width equal to our numeric up down. So we do pen dot width equal to our numeric up down cast it to a float and our numeric up down's name is just paintbrush size so we set it equal to paintbrush underscore size dot value now that we have all this we're, we're going to want to head back over to our wind form you're going to want to click on our canvas and then underneath the, this little a lightning bolt symbol this is where our events are held so we want to click on that and then search for the mouse down event and the mouse move event. So right here, we're gonna set the mouse down event equal to canvas underscore mouse down. And then head back over to our, to our wind form. Make sure our canvas is selected. Look for mouse move. And then set this equal to canvas underscore mouse move. And this will create two new functions for our canvas. And underneath the canvas underscore mouse down function, we're gonna wanna set old equal to E dot location. And this is used to update our pen's location on the canvas. And then underneath our mouse move event, we're gonna check to see if our mouse button is down. So we do if E dot button equals mouse buttons dot left, we set our current variable equal to our mouse location. And then we wanna start drawing lines on our canvas. So we do G for our graphics variable dot draw line. We're gonna use our pen. And then for point one, we're gonna use our old location. And then for point two, we're gonna use our current position. And then we're gonna wanna do the same thing for our graph variable. And then finally, we're gonna set old equal to current, just to make sure it's updating our position. Next, we're gonna wanna make sure that we're able to drag our drawing application. And to do this, we're gonna make two variables, two private variables. One's gonna be a point, and it's gonna be called mouse offset position. Then our second variable is gonna be a Boolean. We're gonna set it equal to is mouse down and it's going to be false by default. So let's head back over to our form, click on the top panel, 
click on its events and then search for the mouse down event. And then we're going to set the name of this function to top panel underscore mouse down. And then for this function, we're going to do if e dot button equals mouse buttons dot down or left. We're going to set the mouse offset position equal to a new point negative e dot x and negative e dot y. And then we're going to set our boolean is mouse down equal to true. And then we're going to want to head back over to our win form again. And with the top panel selected, search for the mouse move event. And then set it equal to top panel underscore mouse move. This will create another function. So under this function, we're going to do if is mouse down is equal to true. We're going to create a new point called mouse position equals control dot mouse position. And we're going to set mouse position dot offset equal to mouse offset position dot x then mouse offset position dot y. And then we're going to move our form by setting this dot location equal to mouse position. So when we start our application, and you drag the top panel, you'll see that we're able to move it. But when we let go of our mouse button, it still continues to move with our mouse. And in order to fix this, we're going to close our application just by pressing all F4. We're going to head back over to our win forms. With the top panel selected, we're going to look for the mouse up event. Set it equal to top panel underscore mouse up. And then we're going to add the logic if e dot button equal equals mouse buttons dot left then is mouse down is false. So when we start our application and we drag it, then when we let go, we notice it stops following our mouse. So right now we're not able to close our application aside from pressing all F4. So in order to fix this, we go back to our wind forms, double click on the X button. And this will cre quickly create a new event and to close our application, we simply type this dot close. So upon starting our application, if we click the little X button, that will automatically close the application. So right now we're able to drag our application, close our application, and draw on the canvas. So next we're going to add functionality to the eraser button. So in order to do that, we're going to head over to our wind forms, double click on the eraser button, and add this logic pen dot color equals color dot white. This will change the pen color to the canvas to simulate an eraser. So when we start our application, then we start drawing a line and then we click the eraser button. You notice that we're able to erase the line we just drew. 